Do you remember the first time your man saw you naked? I saw your butt. I had no choice. Wow. Again? Yeah. Do you remember the last time? Jay, we're out of light bulbs. Hey, we should have sex sometime soon. Oh, I would love that. Good, me too. Maybe Thursday. It feels like it's been a while this time. It has, right? Last time was when we got those towels from Bed Bath & Beyond. That's right. How the hell do you get it back? Great to see you. Great, great to, to see, see you, you too. So listen, not gonna be, I'm sure you've heard it loads of times, it is great timing for the film. Mm. When you were filming, I remember talking to Jennifer Aniston, she was saying on set with, for the breakup, there was so much for those nudity scenes, half the cast and crew were semi-naked to support her. Did you guys have any uh, support? No, I had Unforgetting Sarah Marshall. <laughs> I had a cameraman make that offer to me, and it was really odd. I did full frontal nudity, called me the night before, like a little too late, and was like, hey, <laughs> just want you to know <laughs> if you want me to be naked too, I'll do it. But it was like past the time when you should call oh, somebody. Right, yeah, 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 like maybe he was <laughs> contemplating it at a certain hour. Yeah, I've right. always found that to be a strange <laughs> offer. Hey. Holy. <laughs> I just had an idea. Let's film ourselves having sex. That's a great idea. This is your best idea ever. Hello. And welcome to an evening with Annie and Jay. Was your mom uh, pretty shocked when she saw that full frontal scene? Is that true? And then this time around, was she okay? Yeah, she was okay. She's gotten used to it by now. Yeah, she kind of knows that anything goes at this point. You guys look amazing, okay? So, oh, you, you know, when you were aging down as well as being yourselves, oh. you looked amazing. Any oh. tips or tricks or? Well, that was all CGI when we were younger. They computer, they changed us with the computer. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Really? For the yeah, college for stuff. The wow. College stuff. Oh, guys, okay, yeah. you looked amazing, really. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> we looked 20 years younger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you look amazing now as well. <laughs> um, there's great news about, about Teacher 2 and, you Yeah, know. that's not... A, that's something that's actual at the moment. Okay, so oh. still. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, still. but Annie is, and you're excited. Annie's, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's done. That's a done deal. It's coming soon. And very fun. So much fun. Lots to great look forward job. to. Well, Gluck did a great job at making it, you know, modern and keeping all the things that you love about Annie. Annie, erase that video. I'll erase it, babe. Don't forget, okay? I won't forget. You're really loud. Yeah. Enjoyed your video. Hello. Honey. Wow. That sweater. Nice, girl. What the hell is going on? You know the cloud? The big message in this really is be careful. Yeah. Well, it, that's one of the messages for sure. Another message in it is that uh, keep the spark alive every day so that you don't get to this moment where you have to make some, this big grand gesture and screw it up. It was really clever. You tapped into something we all know from growing up, The Joy of Sex, that book that we were all, oh, could yeah. we have a little sneaky peek? Have you guys ever, when you were growing up, did you have it around the house? Was it there? There was plenty of like Playboy and Penthouse. <laughs> right, nice, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I remember in my house, I found a copy of Madonna's sex book. When that oh, came yeah, out, really? yeah. Your folks got that. <laughs> it was it was around the house, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it was a great discovery. Fantastic. Yeah. There's a lot of obviously controversy with sex tapes, and you know, should you, shouldn't you? There's a message in this film at the end, which we're gonna let people see when they discover it themselves. Did you agree with that? We, you know, without obviously, we don't want to give away the ending. I think that uh, we're we're not preachy about making or not making a sex tape. Mm -hmm. I think what we want is for couples to do. Uh, Whatever they need to do to keep their their spark alive. Yeah, you know, we're not think... suggesting that that everybody has to do that. That that's the answer, mm. but it definitely has to be. You have to make a committed effort um, to you know make sure that you you keep that alive with, between the two of you. The bond on screen between the two of you, final question, it was amazing. I mean, wow. really, really lovely to watch. And, and it had to be, to be so believable, yeah. you know, because yeah. they're so intimate and they're a great couple. Yeah. So, you know, how do you get that? Because I know from interviewing you years ago, you had that with Drew Barrymore and you still seem to have great yeah. buddies. Wow. Big surprise for your birthday, yeah. which was gorgeous. Yeah. But how do, you, how do you get that between the two of you on set? Oh, that's a good question. I think we have a really common attitude about being really lucky and grateful to be there. 
Um, and I think that's probably shared with you and other people you share that with. Yeah. It is with me as well. But yeah. people who are psyched to be where they are mm-hmm. is a very compelling thing, you know. Mm-hmm. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, we both we have, you know, we respect one another and yeah. want to show up and bring our best mm-hmm. each day. So That's lovely because that's actually yeah. how it comes across. Oh, oh good. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. We have to get that back right now. I was using that. It went up. It went up to the cloud. You can't get it down from the cloud? Nobody understands the cloud. It's a mystery!